If you like huge dicks, you'll love my personality. What happens if I like small dicks? Then you'll like my actual dick. <laughs> Damn, I That's love him! Good. Yo bro, this is Louis Farfields aka the Text God and today it is that time again. My coach Dan has selected all sorts of funny Tinder messages. I haven't seen them yet. My girlfriend hasn't seen them yet. Girlfriend hasn't seen them yet. <laughs> We're going to look at them. They're gonna make us feel all sorts of funny feelings. Relax! And uh, yeah, let's see what happened. Let's crack right into it. High five! <laughs> First one, her text says, I'm single, not looking for a boyfriend, and then the, the penis emoji, hit me up for one night stands. Sounds like a serious catfish to me. Okay, and someone texted, hi, yes, I'm looking for a night stand. <laughs> My room is a cool gray. Do you have anything that would complement it? I haven't had light in my room for two months. Need this nightstand. Thanks. This is a super silly joke, but I'm surprised that this is perfect. the first nightstand joke I ever hear. It's actually the first one I've heard too, and it's perfect. About one nightstand. It's well perfect. Done. We have the seal of approval of this woman. Well done. Medium rare. <laughs> oh my god. Next one. He hates me. <laughs> Are you New Year's resolution? Because no. I plan on doing you for the first few weeks of January and then totally forgetting about you until the end of 2019. Probably, dude. Are you my New Year's resolution? Because I'm not planning on doing you at all. Oh, that's Bang. really... Game yeah. over. Bah, shut down. She killed him. Okay, let's do this conversation together. I'm the boy. You're Stephanie. What song describes you best? Maroon 5 Secrets. Mine probably, I want a dog in the ass by Blink-182. Ah yes, sounds mysterious. It's a very self-explanatory song. Kind of figure. So do you have any pets? <laughs> <laughs> a fish. <laughs> no. Oh, I was hoping you'd have a dog. No. <laughs> Don't the fish. My god, I love him. This was in August 2, 2015. I wonder if he's still looking. Many years later. I don't know, I like him. This is a cool guy. And Stephanie is a cool girl for going yeah. with it. Man, <laughs> high five her. Okay, next one. I don't want my parents to know I'm gay. Do you want to go on a date? Wow, this is wild. They're those kind of parents, huh? Yeah, both my dads are crazy. No. <laughs> <laughs> I like that the cameraman, he's never seen the screenshots either and you don't see him but he's always holding the camera like <laughs> <laughs> If I ever have a child and he's gay, I will appreciate him, I will love him, with support I mean Not with penis Not with penis, <laughs> exactly <laughs> And I will make sure he has a lot of success on Tinder I don't know if there is any grinder coaches, but I guess there's not and it's pretty self-explanatory why there is not It's not very hard to get Maybe some this is good Railing on Grinder. This is a hole in the market. You should stop being Tinder gods. A hole gods. in the market, I like You it. should start being Grinder god. Grinder god. <laughs> tip one, make an account. Tip two, rail the <laughs> out of his ass. Okay, let's go to the next screenshot. The girl opens. It's the year 2030. The divorce papers came through and looks like I'm keeping the dog. That's a good opener, actually. Mm. Mm. It's funny that the woman is opening. Would have been good for the guy looking for a dog. <laughs> no! Oh. Oh, that's that heartbreaking. Perfect. The dog is finally <laughs> freed from your penis harassment. The response yes. <laughs> is the year 2035, a few years after the divorce. You come crawling back to me, telling me you miss me. I welcome you back and I missed you too. We reminisce about the good times we shared. You stay the night, I kill you in your sleep and take back my dog. <laughs> that hurts my feelings. I was like, oh, this is so romantic. <laughs> I love it. I want to know who opened first. Is it a guy or a girl? We can't see their kisses. It's a girl. What is his name? You can kind of see through the kisses. The response is probably the guy. Guys are usually more witty than girls. Would you agree? No. <laughs> That's <laughs> a discussion to, for another time. Trying to be a feminist. <laughs> as long as you're not a feminist with feminist hair, I'll stay with you. That's not feminist hair. That's a bird's nest. Oh, oh, I already like the, the look of this. A, lemon. B, lemon. Are those lemons or melons? It's melons. I think it's a cantaloupe and the other one is a watermelon. A cantaloupe, that's like a... How do you say it in English? Like an orange on the inside melon. Option A, cantaloupe. <laughs> Option B, cantaloupe. Option C, cantaloupe. Option D, cantaloupe. <laughs> Option E, slice of watermelon. Sounds refreshing. 
Option F, Cantaloupe. Which one is your favorite? Because personally, I'm digging Melon E. Oh, her name is Melanie. <laughs> oh, that's so smart. <laughs> oh, here, her reaction is good too. That's a really good one. That's such a good joke. And pickup line, you win. Holy moly. <laughs> I love her reaction too, but it is a good pickup it's line. It's really good. You know what? I'll start making an archive and an article like best pickup line for all the most common names because we have a that what was the good. really good one for Hannah if there's a Hannah with H A N N H no H A N N A H then if you be like what is what is the same spelled backwards as like That's original for, yeah. forwards and it's incredibly fun to write and then she's like Hannah and you're like no race car That's, really That's good. a good one for Hannah but this is a good one for Melanie so maybe by the time this video is online? The article is there. Check it out on <laughs> www.thanksgod.com My girlfriend stops vlogging in the middle of our video. Okay, here's a girl named Mercedes. How often do people open with car related puns using your name? Way too often and it's usually very unoriginal. Dang, that must drive you crazy. No, that's good. <laughs> That's good. Damn, if he thought that up front, he was like, I'm gonna do this, and she's gonna say, yeah, very often, and then I'm gonna do the word play with the drive, Schmarts. then it would be good. By the way, I once wrote an article, damn, I don't know in which one of my five billion um, articles. awarded articles it is, but actually a good tip, if you come up with an opener for someone on Tinder or whatever online dating app, and you think like, let's just in general, you come up with something, just think to yourself, okay, how likely is it that someone else already came up with this? Or how likely is it that already 69 other people came up with this? If the answer is quite likely, then just instead of making a joke, be like, hey, how many lame dudes have already made this joke? And then she'll be more relieved because now you'll be the only guy or one of the few guys who made this very smart, socially intelligent remark and she'll be like, please, rail me in the ass or at least send you a text back one of the two one of the two that was a quick tip let's go back quick to the, tip. <laughs> to the, to the, to the you be the guy this time i'm the guy this guy sends a text at 22 35 that's 35 past 10 pm so he's probably already slightly horny he's in bed maybe or maybe not touching his wee wee i think he is and he says aren't we all sales assistants in the grand scheme of life trying to sell ourselves as good people to everyone we meet thinking emoji he might not be touching his wee wee actually he's I like in the middle of uh, some sort of existential crisis he's like whoa that's deeper than i expected that's deeper than i expected too i, I thought he was touching his wee wee there is twice in your life you'll say that with me oh she's like smooth did he like he could have never known no he made it up on the spot he's witty He's witty. He learned how to be witty on textgod.com. In my article, how to be witty. How, how, is there an article? No, but please still go to my website. <laughs> There's other good articles on how to get laid on Tinder. Happy Sunday! So, what has made you smile this weekend? This already sounds like such a nice guy. Besides matching with me. Winky face. Uh, now he sounds like a desperate <laughs> nice guy. I'd say mine is volunteering for the Tim Tebow prom for mental disabilities. Now I know he's joking. I am headed to Bloomington today and if my Hoosier, is that how you pronounce it? If my Hoosier, I'm gonna pronounce it that way, please forgive me if it's wrong. <laughs> and if my Hoosier could win, I'm sure that would complete my weekend. Very pretty girl, by the way. Oh, that's, that's super cool. But how's your arm? What do you mean? Well, I thought you broke it patting yourself on the back. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of uh, overselling himself. Well, I think she was funny, but you're not going to get a date like that. Yeah. I thought she was going to say something else, like the arm, and I thought then she oh. was going to say... Because you're such a wanker. Yeah, something like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Missed an opportunity yeah. there. Small tip. But obviously overselling yourself never works. There's even been a study that shows that people that try to present themselves in a good way, they call it selective self-presentation, get less likes and less dates and are found to be less attractive than guys who don't do selective self-presentation. And even better, and you'd notice if you had textgod.com as your homepage, I know no one sets a dating <laughs> advice page as a homepage, but it would be kind of cool. But you would know that if you mock yourself in your in your Tinder profile text or yourself in general throughout the text just sprinkled in between that you would be way more successful on Tinder. But let's continue to the next screenshot. 
I'm gonna try to be, have some sort of accent here. Which country do you want? French. What's your favorite historical period? I need to plan my obnoxious pickup line accordingly. The Industrial Revolution impressed me. Hey, baby, are you a factory before labor standards? Because I wanna put a bunch of kids in you. Mama! Stop! You win, that was golden. Wow, she chooses a, a random historical period and he makes a pickup line on the spot. But did he say... Did he read my historical facts pickup line article on textgod.com? No. No, because it doesn't exist. <laughs> my lines actually get you late, they're not about historical periods. Actually, I find this quite impressive from him, not gonna uh, lie. It's impressive, yeah. If I was naked in front of you, right now, what would you do to me? Ask for consent. Always ask for consent. <laughs> One of my good friends has made, he was bored at his job and they have this uh, professional computer software program to make all sorts of forms and he made a consent form and he made it super funny like asking permission to finger blast the poop or just all sorts of random shit. You know what? I'll ask him if we can plug it here in the description of the video. You could use it. It's super funny. Girls loved it. Probably. And it was really well designed and he made it seem like it was an official like like a, an official form by the English government. That's creative. I'm gonna plug it in here. He'll probably love it. He has a big plug ego. It as long as you be like, it's invented by him and then his name, which I won't say yet, he'll be like, ah, oh, yes. <laughs> anyway, this kind of joke actually shows how fucked up these times are, right? If I was naked in front of you right now, what would you do? And he's like asking for consent. That wouldn't even, that wouldn't have been a joke back in the day. Well, back in the day, depends how far we go back. We used to be quite primitive. Okay. Let's just continue. Let's just continue. You're the woman. Thank you, thank you. Now, let's get down to the breast tags. Where is the best place to hide a body? No, no, no. You murder and hide at the same time. Go hiking and push them off a cliff or a mountain. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Next topic, date IDs, smiley face. I was thinking we could go hiking. <laughs> Wonderful idea. Let's see who makes it back. Whoa, I think I just fell in love. I think that's a witty, witty response. It was a witty response, but I don't like his last line. I think I just fell in love. But they have they had a real good conversation, like she's enjoying the games we're playing, teasing back and forth, and all of a sudden he's like, ah, oh, you win, I love you, you won me over. All the games are gone, she's gonna zip her pants back up. It's probably already dried up because of that one line. I think, what do you think? I don't know. I'm always overanalyzing everything Tin really. Like, I don't oh, have no. any experience with witty guys. Yeah, and actually, in my over the top game workshop, there is um, a whole chapter that is about this thing about guys giving like giving up the games too soon. Check it out, textgod.com. There's so many plugs. Yeah, I'm just gonna plugs say. everywhere. In my usual videos, there's like zero plugs. I'm so bad at plugging. You're the woman. Hey! Yo! I respect you for messaging first! I respect you for respecting me. Oh yeah! Well, I respect you for respecting me, respecting you. That's a lot of respecting you're doing, I respect that. This makes me think of Mr. Beast. Who? Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, he respected them by giving them big donations. In the words of our great PewDiePie, we should respect Wham. If you haven't seen his Mr. Beast video where he's respecting Wham on Twitch, I'll link that in the video as well. Now you're even plugging other people's videos. <laughs> Mr. Beast is <laughs> like, a cool plug, guy. He's plug, a cool guy. Plug. Anyway, those were some funny screenshots for today. I love whenever I toss away my phone. And she's always like, oh, no. I see it from my peripheral vision. That was it for today. Whoa, those were such funny messages. This was me and my girlfriend. This was me. And subscribe because if you don't, subscribe. Otherwise, uh, you always talk like this. <laughs> when you put her on the spot. <laughs> Just never let me be in a video. I again. thought it was funny. Nah. you